Well, we've just seen how the rock horses are used to help children with both cognitive and physical challenges. Well, they're also doing great things to help members of our armed forces. Let's go back to Katie Kaufman, who's at Rock, where they're healing through horses. Rock's Horses for Heroes program has been creating relationships with soldiers and horses since 2005. Today, there are more than 121 programs nationwide that offer horse therapy that have proven to not only alleviate physical pain, but pain from those scars that can't always be seen. The story of Horses for Heroes started at Fort Hood with the horse detachment and this man, Scott Shuley. Scott served 21 years in the Army and a good part of it at the detachment. The detachment serves as a reminder of the heritage of the cavalry and the Army horses are used for public ceremony and other special events. In 2005, Scott received a call from the Brook Army Medical Center who wanted to use horses as therapy for military amputees. Scott called Nancy, who had already been utilizing horses for therapeutic purposes, and asked her to assist him with the project. We used Army horses. We used Army soldiers, many of them that had been deployed to the same places with the, the people that we were dealing with. And we started to see the connection uh, beyond the horses, uh, the soldiers and the veterans helping each other. We saw huge changes. We studied, we did some research over the four times that they rode to see how much their balance improved. And by keeping good statistics of it to show that there actually was a change, we were able to write an article and that got some attention and then people started catching on that this could make a difference. What I've learned is that the physical improvement is important, but what has really made the difference in these folks' lives is the emotional um, support that they've gotten from their partnership with the board. We have more challenges probably now with post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injuries and the wonderful thing about the horse is the horse gives you honest feedback. And sometimes when you're injured or you're wounded, everybody doesn't want to give you necessarily honest feedback. They want to they say it's okay and they want to make an excuse for you and the horse doesn't make any excuses. The horse demands the same consistent thing from one person to the other and they will only respond to you when you do the right thing. U.S. Army Specialist Brennan Adcock served two deployments to Iraq, getting injured only a month into his second tour. After his return, aside from his physical injuries, Brennan was suffering inside too. Shuley encouraged him to come to Rock. Honestly, uh, I got injured in my, my second tour. I got sent back and I was kind of in a bad place. I left all my guys over in Iraq. I came back whenever I was hurt and all I could think about was what was wrong with me. That I was never going to be the same. That I would I'd be like this forever. You know, um, for people that had been there and they hadn't drawn that bad card, they, they oftentimes they feel like maybe they cheated or maybe it wasn't fair. And this was also a way for them to give back and not leave their, their fallen or their people that had, had suffered more than they had behind, and, and it lets us uh, continue our responsibility to our fraternity. Brennan has been participating in the Horses for Heroes program yeah, and also by volunteering with the youth as a horse handler. It's that involvement with the children that has allowed Brennan to begin healing. Heroes Trail? Yeah. Yay! Okay. There we go. Here we go. That's why I like to it took a a bunch of kids to, to change me around, to show me that you don't give up. And, and that's what this place is about. That's what we all want and crave, is just good relationships. Somehow, this environment out here offers a place for them to feel safe. And because most of the people that work in this program are veterans themselves, they understand. They understand the anger. They understand the fear, um, the anxiety of different situations. They understand all that. And I think that's one of the key things that makes this such a family environment for these folks to heal. Steve Herbel, a retired Army Staff Sergeant, served 19 years in the military with four deployments to Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Steve also suffered upon his return and transition back into civilian life. Because I served 
multiple deployments, four deployments, uh, and I was in a, a high tempo type job uh, where I was always outside the wire and always uh, risking getting injured. I, I did lose a lot of comrades and uh, I carried a lot of guilt and remorse with me that I survived and they didn't. So uh, I locked myself up in the house for two years. Shuley befriended Steve and encouraged him to come to Rock and Horses for Heroes. Reluctantly, he attended, and little by little, Steve felt improvement. His interaction with horses retrained his behavior and ultimately saved his life. And so what we're really seeing a lot of now is we're seeing the communication process, sender, message, receiver, feedback, where the individual asks something from the horse, either verbally or by body language, and if the horse doesn't do it, the individual has two choices. They can either get mad at the horse or they can change their behavior. You have to do your own self work and then you start realizing that if you let go of all the stuff that you carry, you can start seeing improvements in, in yourself because of the confidence that the horse gives you. I think the best an analogy that I have is like the uh, horse is like an FM antenna. If you're not tuned into the station, the horse isn't going to react the way you want it to. If you're tuned into it, it'll to do what you want to and it's a wonderful experience. Every Tuesday evening, retired and active personnel like Brennan, Steve, Todd, Eric, Jeremy, Laura, and Cynthia come to Rock for fellowship and horsemanship to enhance the healing process. There are now more than 120 programs just like this one across the nation serving our military personnel in need. If you're having a problem or something, they're more than willing to listen if you feel like talking about it. So that's great. You know, there's no pressure on anybody for anything. And it's nice to be around people who know what you've been through. This program is, is just totally awesome. And it, it just has truly made a huge difference in my life. You see uh, Brennan and, and all of our folks come and they're not quite sure, they have to check us out, and then if they make the decision to be out here, they start building relationships with other veterans, and then when they work with the horse, they learn about themselves. Mm -hmm. The interaction between themselves and the horse leads to self-discovery, and that self-discovery that they learn, then they can carry over to other human relationships. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it really is horse sense mm -hmm. that makes the difference. And I think maybe that's what we offer here, is hope. And we let people be themselves. If they want to come eat and go home, that's fine. Or if they want to work with the horse and not eat and not fellowship, that's okay too. So it, they just need to find a place where they can be accepted. And that's what we try to offer.